to my channel so today's video obviously you know is the official kickoff to the fall season here on my channel and in my actual real life uh this video is fun for me though because it was completely inspired by several of you I put a question box out on my Instagram asking what do you guys want to see specifically from me and there was a lot of like home decor fall decor how I prep my Thanksgiving table how I prep for the holidays and then um, just like vlogs as usual and there was a lot more other things too that have nothing to do with like this type of stuff but I thought why not make this fun video in preparation for decorating for fall I typically wait till September and in my mind Sebastian's birthday which is August 19th is if you're new to my channel that's my son um his birthday is the official like end of summer for me so this was like the perfect time to do this today's video is going to include like a little bit of a shop with me I just brought my camera out to the stores a haul and then we're also going to do two DIYs one's going to be painting which y'all know how I feel about DIYs and then somehow I still end up doing them and then we're also going to be using my Cricut machine which I'm excited to cut a picture for my entry table like I did in my I think I think I showed it in my entry video if not you'll see it today so for me I despise the color orange and I also do not like farmhouse decor and when it comes to the fall season that seems like the most dominant and like most available style of decor that stores tend to push for this time of year it drives me a little bit insane because it makes trying to shop a little bit more difficult but I also like that it's like that because when you do find the things that you like it tends to not look like everyone else's home like I do not like when everyone's house looks the exact same <laughs> it's like a huge thing here on youtube everyone has the same things in their house and so for me i try to do things a little bit my own way i'll put some pictures here of some of the things that i like i like a lot of neutrals i like whites i like greenery i don't like orange leaves if that makes sense a few things that are trendy this year are like eucalyptus I'm fine with eucalyptus. I like a few trends here and there. I think it's really pretty, especially if you have it with like a white or a cream colored pumpkin. I also like using pine cones this time of year. And the cool thing about pine cones are you can use them into the holiday season, like Christmas time. And so um, you get more bang for your buck when you're shopping. A few other things that I like to use for fall decor are mercury glass. I absolutely love mercury glass this time of year. It's not on the nose fall, but it somehow like makes me feel a little bit cozier so I do plan to get this set and I'll put it here on screen of mercury glass containers and therefore candles those will go on my table for Thanksgiving and I'll get into that in a second and then something else that I really like which will inspire my table for Thanksgiving is Baroque style floral paintings like those canvas art paintings I'll put a couple here um, when Brandon buys me flowers that is what my flower arrangements always look like because that is my favorite type of of arrangement style so uh, I want to recreate that for my Thanksgiving table because I do feel like having a flower arrangement on a holiday is just it's so nice so now that you see my inspiration and like the things that I like that aren't necessarily like farm and and country um, let's go ahead and go shopping <laughs> All right, so I'm getting ready to go into Target right now. There's a Target here, and then a Hobby Lobby, and then a Home Goods TJ Maxx situation. I'm hoping to find a little something from each store. I know I want to make a flower arrangement. I want to get silk flowers from Hobby Lobby, but Target, I know that there's like this wreath that I want. It's a very plain leaf wreath that's like um like an auburn color i'm gonna attempt to make my christmas wreath but i just needed something to, to replace my summer wreath so i'm gonna look for that in here i saw it the other day and i don't know see what else we can find and then um i'll go home and haul it all for you I actually really love this, but I don't have a place for it. I also really like these. I know it's not fall decor, but I love that. If you're also like me and don't like orange fall decor or even like this because it's a little too warm, this is nice too. 
Although I really love these leaves and I typically don't like orange fall decor, but that's going outside, so it's okay. These look a lot like the same leaves at Target, except the Target ones are shinier and these are matte. So I'm really loving these pumpkins, but I want white ones, but the white ones are shaped funny. Like look how that's shaped compared to that. So I think I'm gonna get these lighter pink ones and then paint them all so that they're the right shape because I'd love it to be this color, but that shape, because that is not it. And all of the little white ones are like that. I don't know if it's the paintbrush I have or if it's the paint itself or if it's the type of pumpkin this is, but that paint that I had was literally not working. But I have extra spray paint, so I'm gonna attempt to spray paint it with this. Oh yeah. On to the next DIY, I'm going to be using my Cricut Explore Air 2 to create some new fun art for my entry console. So I do want to say thank you to Cricut for sponsoring this portion of my video. My loyal subscribers already know how much I love my Cricut, but I'm going to share it with everyone again today. I've had it for almost a year now, and I've made everything from holiday banners, cake toppers, to this dinosaur shirt from Sebastian, which, by the way, I pulled out of the dryer, so it's a little wrinkled, but it's been washed like three times since his birthday, and it's perfect. I made this logo for my laptop, Margot's silhouette. I've labeled in a recent video some storage bins that I have in my bathroom. I literally use it for everything. But today we are going to cut a new piece of art for my console table and replace it with this one that I cut a while back. Today's project we are going to be using cardstock, but the Cricut Explore Air 2 can cut through about 100 different materials including specialty fabrics like aluminum foil, bonded fabric, vinyl, cork, burlap for example. So you have the ability to create so much with this machine. So let's get started. Here is the Cricut Design Studio where you can create a bunch of projects. You can see some of my previous ones. The Cricut Design Studio does come equipped with the ability to help you create your project from start to finish. However, you also have the option to import your own artwork, which is such a nice touch, and it can help cut or draw your imported work. I imported this design and set it to the proper size that I needed based off of the frame that I used, and then I basically just followed the on-screen prompts from there. It really is so easy to use. Trust me, if I can do it, anyone can because I am not technologically savvy. Also, Cricut does have available for purchase some extra tools and fun things that you can use to help complete your design much more smoothly. So I'm using this weeding tool to pick off the little bits that are not supposed to be in the completed design. Et voila! This completes the DIY part of the video. Thank you again to Cricut for sponsoring my channel and believing in me and working with me yet again. It is always a pleasure. And if anyone is interested in checking out Cricut, please see the links in my description box down below. Now let's move on to the haul. All right, so unfortunately, I wasn't able to get everything I wanted when I was out at the stores today. I do think that there's a couple things I'm just gonna have to order online, which you will see in my decorate with me video. But there are a few things that I was able to get that I think will start us off on the right foot. There's a couple things that aren't for fall decorating at all, but I bought them today, so I'm just gonna show you. And yeah, let's just get right into the haul. All right, so obviously you can't really decorate for fall without having at least 
one actual pumpkin in your house uh like i said i don't do the orange pumpkins so i bought this glass pumpkin and i really like the stem on this because in some lights it looks silver and in other lights it's like a champagne gold which is so my vibe. I like mixed metals, but um, champagne gold is like my favorite. I did not realize until I got this home that this actually has like a place on the bottom where you can put batteries in it. And there's like a little thing of lights in there, like fairy lights. So I mean, we can light this up in just a moment and see <laughs> what that looks like. But um, I got this at Home Goods. Then I also have this one, which also has lighting capabilities on the inside. It's not exactly the same one as that one, but I was okay with them being a little bit different. Um, I just love the glass pumpkins. They just add that fall vibe that I love without, you know, really taking away from like the overall aesthetic of your home. The next pumpkin that I bought was this one and I just thought it looked kind of cool. It's not like a perfect pumpkin. This one I bought with my coffee table in mind because it's not breakable so my kids can't destroy it but also because it would look really good in my living room with the colors that this is. It's more of like a cream color and yeah i don't know i just thought that this was kind of fun looking i don't remember this is from hobby lobby all of their fall stuff was 50 percent off so that was really nice again hobby lobby is not really a place that i can do a lot of my fall shopping but if you dig deep you really can find some gems at hobby lobby and i think that this is one of them all right and this last pumpkin is another glass one that i got i got this with my entry table or my kitchen island in mind i think this pumpkin is really cute if, especially if you are a household that likes to eat a lot of candy this would be great after halloween instead of keeping it in like the halloween bucket we don't eat a lot of candy here so i probably won't do that but i bought some like um fall scented potpourri that i think i'm gonna put in here and add like a little bit of like fall comfort to the house so i thought this was really really pretty you could also fill it up with like tiny pumpkins and set it somewhere in your house but yeah i know i'm gonna get some good use out of this as soon as i find out where i'm gonna put it and this pumpkin is from home goods okay so since i just mentioned it this is the potpourri that i purchased now i did not realize that it was potpourri until much later in the store i just bought it because it had these dried orange slices and like i said i'm not big into the color orange but i do like um dried orange slices as decor during the holiday time it's about the only time i'll ever do anything with the color orange it's from hobby lobby the scent is purely pumpkin so i'm totally a candle person but if you're not a candle person this is definitely something you might want to consider getting because it will add um, a lot of fall fragrance to your home without actually having to put like candle into the air a lot of people feel really strongly about that i just like to usher in those fall flavors and fragrances so that's why i got this i think i actually might just keep the fall decor as a whole down to my main floor of my house but i might put a little bit of this in our bedroom or our bathroom because i just think that this smell is so good it's like spices also from hobby lobby is this little bag of pine cones some of them are like a lighter brown some of them are more like a chocolate brown and then a couple of them are like a shinier metallic color okay next is this candle from home goods the brand is light candle co the scent is sweet fig and this is a 30 ounce candle it is huge and it's very very heavy i am not someone who is a candle snob i know that there are people who will only buy certain types of candles with that said i do love me a luxury candle but i do think home goods has a great selection of candles that are a great price super affordable this candle was 17 dollars, and it's huge we burn tons of candles in here i'd be stupid if i only bought luxury and i think home goods has a wonderful selection of candles this one like i said is sweet fig it doesn't scream fall when you smell it but i figured we may not always want our house to smell you know like fall definitely hit up your local home goods if you are uh, in need of some new candles i love their candles so much so circling back to what i said a few minutes ago about the flowers i decided that i'm going to make the flower arrangement for our table and instead of buying it which would make sense because it's fresh flowers for a holiday i thought i want to make it and then i can keep it and like do it again next year so um i purchased a bunch of these silk flowers from hobby lobby the color scheme is like 
my favorite colorway for flower arrangements at any time of the year. This, I, you could give this to me in the dead of summer or winter and I would be just as happy. And this is just my favorite color scheme. So I'll just quickly show you each one. I don't know what this is, but they look like upside down pineapples that are like pink and green and then there's like this pretty thing right here i don't know what these are called thought that they complemented each other well i have several of both of those i also grabbed this pink one just to add another color into the mix it's pink but it's not like pink pink it it looks kind of like that in the camera but it's not it's a little bit deeper than like a regular pink but i thought that they really worked well together next for some leaves i grabbed this I don't know if this is considered eucalyptus or not. Be the shape makes me say yes, but the color, I don't think so. But again, it's in that same color family that I absolutely love for florals. Some more filler, I grabbed these. I love that the tips of them had a little bit of color to them. I don't know if you can tell or not, but they do. And I thought that it added a different texture as well. So just putting that in the mix. Like how pretty would that be if someone just handed you those on the street like i'd be like thank you i don't even care that they're fake they're beautiful again like i said i am on the eucalyptus trend train right now it will probably be out by next year but i don't care it looks so pretty but i thought that the eucalyptus added a, a really pretty new color to it and it's muted and yeah and a new texture as well like how gorgeous is that oh I love that so much. And then for, oh, I wasn't sure about this because it's very green and it looks a little fake. Like, I mean, it's all fake, let's be real. But I, this looks fake and I wasn't sure about it, but I do think that it adds a good color to give this a little bit of vibrancy. So I decided to keep it. And then lastly, I grabbed a couple hydrangea stems. So I found this one and I loved it. This like beige or champagne color one. It's not quite pink. It's not light brown. I don't know what color that is, but it's beautiful. And they only had one left. So I grabbed it, but I felt like we needed a little bit more. And so I grabbed this one. This is probably the most fall looking thing that I've purchased as far as color is concerned today. And I was afraid it was gonna be a little too much, but actually I think it was the perfect pop that this needed. Overall, I'm really happy with my choices. And when I was walking around the florals department, I got stopped by everyone I passed that was like, this is a beautiful arrangement. And then someone else was like, can you show me what you got? Like, I wanna make that too for my house. And I, it just made me so happy. And I tried to help her, but a lot of it was gone, which is why I said earlier, when you see something you like at a store, especially when it's something seasonal, just go ahead and get it now if you can, because when you go back a week later, it may not be there. But yeah, so these are the flowers that I bought. There's a ton more to make the arrangement even bigger or to make two arrangements. But yeah, I just, I absolutely love, love, loved what I grabbed. All right, and then the next step is one, two, three, four things, which has nothing to do with fall at all. But um, I grabbed them just because my house needs some decor. The first thing is this little jar. Not sure where I'm gonna put this. It could go on the shelving in my living room, but they are the same color. Like this looks like an ashier version of the color of my shelves. So I may have to put it somewhere else, but I really liked this. It looks like a vintage pot and I like things to look a little bit older sometimes because it looks more um, collected versus like something brand new glam sparkly in your house. So that's why I grabbed this. This is from Hearth and Hand from Target. The next thing I grabbed, which in any other color would not work in my house because dough bowls like this tend to pull a little bit farmhouse or country. But because I found it in black, which I've wanted for so long, I thought this could work in many different places. It can go on the shelving in my living room. It can go on my kitchen table when I'm trying to do something a little bit more minimal. It can go on my island if I wanted it to. I can put it on my countertops and put like fresh fruit in it. There's so many uses for this because I found this color. And yeah, I couldn't help but grab it when I saw it. This one is from Home Goods. The next thing I grabbed is this cement bowl thing. This is going to go on my kitchen island. I do plan to use this for decoration at all times, not just for fall, but uh, I think I will probably put some of this stuff in here as well, or I don't know, something else. But I, I love, love, love this, and I couldn't be happier to have found it. And the last thing, which you're probably gonna be like, what, girl, this? Why did you buy that? That's not your vibe. You're absolutely right. But the size of this, I just couldn't turn it down. 
So my thought was, I'm not sure what kind of wood this is, but if I can sand it down, maybe I can stain it. So I got a little bit of sandpaper and I started going at it with it and I realized that this is the natural color. Also, this came with leather straps. I took the straps off of it because they were hideous. But yes, like I said, I realized that this is the original color of the wood and that there was no amount of sanding that I could do to change the color. So my only option is to attempt to stain it over top of this color or just paint it. And if I do have to paint it, I'm just gonna paint it black and that's just gonna be that on that. Um, but I loved the size. So instead of using this as a tray, I'm gonna flip it over and use it as a riser. So the flat part is up top. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this little video. I hope that you've got a little bit of inspiration and if nothing else, just some entertainment. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.